Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It's Joe here, Mr. Faust, doing a Home Depot siege review. This is the UFO HD TV antenna. Now, since we've been RVing, we have tried many antennas out. I was excited to get this antenna because I thought it would be different. But the uh, the antennas are very similar in the amount of channels they get. I mean, some of them say 30 within 35 miles, within 65 miles. This one says 65 miles right there. Okay. So it has a lot of hype on the box. Okay, like I said, I was so excited to get it. I thought we would get so many more channels. You see them on there. Okay, but uh, but we only get six channels. So that was about as many as we were getting before. With I hooked up two other antennas, and we had to move them around. But this one we have to move around. So I am coming to the conclusion that the antennas all work about the same except that uh, that it depends on where you're at uh, let me just go over how I hook this up what it comes with okay uh, it looks pretty cool I will not put it on top of my RV because the way this is is uh, made it seems like the wind just sucks it up so it's like it's like a little UFO I mean I'll show you where I have it now okay. I have it hooked out here on our antenna a radio antenna I just have it sitting on there okay because I'm not going to hook it to the top because I'm afraid it'll blow up. Now this comes with a booster. The one end goes in your TV, okay, the booster, and then it comes out here. But this has a male end on it. Okay, so to, in order to use this antenna, you're going to have to have an additional extension line coaxial extension line okay so if you get all excited bring it home and you don't have this line then you're SOL because you have to have it now one pet peeve I have about products it's like Christmas Day when I bought stuff for my kids and it didn't come with batteries okay so this thing you need another coaxial cable for this thing to work so be aware of that if you're ordering this, order coaxial cable. I don't know why this company does not include it. I, it really irritates me that you, if you need something for a product to work, it should be in the box. Okay? Uh, especially a cable. It's not that much additional money just to put it in the box and charge the customer. So that's one thing that I don't like about this. Okay, you can put it on your RV, put it on top of your house, you can put it, I recommend if you're going to use this in a big city like Atlanta, Las Vegas, Reno, okay, it, it gives you great results. I mean, you put it on the top of your house, somewhere where the wind isn't going to blow it off, uh, it has, it has a, uh, an adjustable foot here that it, you attach it to so you could put this on a pole or you could just get screws which not which are not included and attach them right to the side of your house and you want to test this thing out hook it up and move around the house and see where you get the best reception but what I found is that if you're in a big city you get a lot of channels and it's almost like having cable. I mean we've gotten up to 90 channels in Atlanta. So so this is different ways you can hook it to your house. Like I said I would not recommend hooking it up 
on the top of the RV because we get 40 mile an hour winds sometimes traveling and when you're driving down the road I don't care what they say this thing's gonna rip right off the top I mean we get little bursts of wind here 14 miles an hour and it takes it right off that antenna so you got the amplifier that's what this thing is it has a green light on it when it's activated there's a switch on it okay and like I said you have to make sure you buy this coaxial extension you know so you can hook it up and it's got to be as long if you're going to have a two stories up you got to get a 25 30 foot long extension uh, the best I can explain these antennas is if you're in a big city uh, and you know there's a lot of channels around sure 65 miles is going to pick up anything within that 65 miles but we stayed in Overton, Nevada in the middle of the desert and we get we got more channels there than we get 10 miles out of Reno. We're 10 miles out of Reno and we get six channels which is horrendous. So I don't know if the mountains block it or what's going on here but if you're hunting for an antenna that can really irritate you. Because uh, I don't think they make an antenna that'll suck in those channels. Now, if we go over the mountain range into Reno, then we'll get all kinds of channels. I think we get 40 channels if we're sitting in town. But just driving 10 miles, which is within the 65 mile range, we only get six channels. I mean, it looks cool and everything. Like I said, there's a lot of hype on this box, but just be aware, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad product, it does work good if you are sitting in the middle of a, a big city, and the channels are clear, I mean, this channel comes in crystal clear right here, so I think a lot of that depends on your equipment too though. Because you, if you, you know, you have to have an HD digital TV and all that stuff too. So, I'm going to walk you out. This is put out by Antop Antenna Corporation. I'm going to walk you out and show you the exact, excuse me, the antenna itself is right here. Okay. So this is the arm that you can hook it to, it's got a nut on there, wing nut, and then there's two of these clamps that you can hook it to a post if you like, you know, up by your house, or you could take these two off, and there's holes, but you have to get the screws, the anchor screws to anchor it to your house. So you can anchor it, you know, on the side of your house like this. Like I said, I could put this straight up in the air and hook it to the roof here, but I don't trust it. I think it'll blow off. So, take it for what it is. So if you're going to order this, make sure you get the extra wire. I'm going to give it a four just because of the the incapabilities of it as also the wire is not included. Make sure you pick up a wire because it is very frustrating purchasing something and then you can't use it till the weekend or next time you get to go shopping. So it's a it's made by Antop and if you're planning on using it instead of cable in a big city then I think you'll end up being very happy but if you're RVing traveling around this thing isn't much better than any other antenna you can buy so be aware of that any questions leave them in the comments this is Joe Mr. Faust here reviewing this Antop 
HD TV antenna. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, like, and subscribe. I'm out.